Hey guys, so for today's video, we are going to be doing two challenges. I watched Draw with Jazza's video this morning, and he did a challenge video where he tried out Ergo Josh's Ergo Three Times Challenge, and then he made up his own challenge called Jazza Three Times Challenge. Basically, in those challenges, in the first challenge, you look at a picture that you've never drawn before of a person, I think it has to be a person, and you spend 15 minutes drawing that picture. You stop, and then you draw it again for 15 minutes, you stop, and then you do another drawing for 15 minutes and you stop. And you basically have three different drawings to compare at the end and you can see how you improve or like what you focus on each time. And I thought that this would be really fun. And this is also secretly my attempt to get on a trend for once. I'm going to, I'm trying the trend. We're gonna try to be ahead of the, ahead of the trend and we're gonna do it first. Okay, we're starting off Ergo Josh's challenge with a picture of Taylor Swift. I put 15 minutes on the clock because apparently I can't follow directions. It's supposed to be 10 minutes, but whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. So I have never drawn this picture of Taylor Swift. I picked a portrait or a, like a picture of a person because I am really, really bad at drawing people and I really want to get better at it. Every time I draw people, I just hate it. No, 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 we're not doing any of this. No. I draw a person, I look at it, I say, wow, that looks really bad, and then I never try again. And I think that this challenge is really great because it forces you to try again, and I am really happy with the results of trying again. So this first take, it was bad. Like, this is not great, I won't lie to you. Like, we're gonna finish this, and this doesn't really look like Taylor Swift to me. I mean, it's like okay for a first try. And there are certain elements that I think I got right, but there's a lot of elements that I think I got really wrong. And yeah, you can see me drawing it. I, I got the ear, I got the, the jaw, I, got, I think the eyes are wrong. The nose is definitely wrong. I had to redraw the nose so many times. The mouth is a little too small. I think the jawline is like a little bit too, or maybe her her face is too short. There's something wrong with the face like proportions. I really like the hair. I think I got the hair pretty good. And I redrew the nose right there because just the nose was giving me the biggest struggle ever. So yeah, I mean, honestly, I think I'd give myself probably a four for this first draw. And I think that's even being generous. I think this is really bad. Big no. I think this is not good, and that is why I don't draw people. But we are going to try again, because this is the point of the challenge. We're gonna try another 15 minutes and see what we can come up with. I thought the eyes were not close enough together. That was one of the things that I noticed in my break, but there were a lot of things that were wrong about that. So what I decided to do was start off with the eyes this time. I felt like I really messed up the eyes the last time because they weren't close enough together, and one of the defining features of Taylor Swift, when you really look at her face, it's her eyebrow arch and how it leads into her, like, nose arch, I guess. The center of her nose, right between her eyes, it's really close together right there. And it's got a really, really sharp line. So I wanted to focus on that. And I also really wanted to focus on the shape of her eyes. I think I focused a little bit too much on the shape and didn't really focus on the proportion of the eyes. So at the end, I ended up with kind of like a cartoony version of Taylor Swift, and her eyes were just too big. I think they were too wide, is basically what it was. Taylor has a little bit more of a squinty-eyed look. I also tried to improve on the shape of her nose and the shape of her lips. It's really funny, on the second draw, you start to focus on different things that you hadn't noticed before, and it's just like a really, really interesting challenge, because I didn't focus so much on, I don't know, just like different aspects of the shading of her nose or the shading of her mouth or the shape of her eyes, or I, I don't know, there's just, you, you focus on different things every time, and that's why I really liked this challenge. Like her ear placement right there, I realized it was actually higher up than I had noticed earlier. But honestly, this is still not very good in my opinion, and this, this is why I always think I'm really bad at drawing people, because every time I look at it, it doesn't really look like the likeness of Taylor Swift. I feel like if you took that picture of Taylor Swift away, and you just looked at that picture, no one would know that that is her. What? Like, that's not, that doesn't look like Taylor Swift, to me at least. I think I got it wrong. I did quickly add in the shoulders after the fact because I wanted it to be, like, comparable, 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 I don't know, to the other ones. So I added the, that in really quickly. All right, we're trying number three. And on the third try, I honestly was blown away. This is not like a masterpiece or anything like that, but I was blown away by how much I improved. I never expected this to come out as good as it did. 
I think that it, it came out way better. So I started with the eye again because I felt like that worked really well for me. And I realized that this time I didn't want the eyes to be quite so wide. I wanted them to be a little more squinty because her, her eyes are a little bit smaller. They're not as big as I had drawn them in that second take. That second take kind of looked more like a cartoon version of Taylor Swift. So I wanted it to be a little bit more of a realistic shape. And I really focused on like how narrow her nose is right there because I feel like that is the most defining feature of Taylor Swift. And then I also got the arch of her eyebrows. I think I really got that arch pretty good. And I spent a lot, a lot of my time doing the eyes because I just felt like the eyes and the nose and the, and the eyebrows were most important. And then the lip shape as well. I think I got this one a little bit better with as far as the expression of her mouth because it is kind of cocked to one side because she's smiling a little bit and she has her head tilted. So I think I got that really good. I don't know if I did the hair as well as I had in the past, but I did add the hair. I realized I was running out of time. I only had three minutes, so I quickly tried to sketch in the jawline and put the ear in and then add the hair. Um, I didn't have much time to do this, so I was kind of freaking out, but I surprised myself and actually finished it in time. And you can already see when you're looking at this, this to me looks like Taylor Swift. I feel like if I took that image away, it would look like Taylor Swift. And I did not think that I could draw a person like this, and I'm not claiming to be like an expert here, I don't think this is the best drawing of Taylor Swift out there, but this is certainly the best portrait I have drawn, like genuinely. I, I'm not very good at drawing people, and I don't do it that often, um, so I'm just blown away by this. So now we're gonna have the comparison of all three, I'm just actually shocked by this challenge. Like, that is leaps and bounds from the first one to the third one. And it's not even necessarily supposed to show improvement in this challenge, but I feel like I just improved so much. It's crazy to me. Okay, so now we're moving on to Jazz's challenge. Essentially, it's the same thing, except you come up with a prompt from a random generator, and you don't really have a reference image. This is something that you're making up yourself. So I picked pets, and I got the prompt to fish are meeting for the first time in their tank, and you don't know if they like each other or dislike each other or what. So I was actually a little upset that I got fish. I hate fish. Fish are gross. I don't know how to draw fish. It's just, this is something that was actually genuinely a challenge because I don't know how to draw fish. So, and you can see that. Um, uh, what is that? So I don't know what I was doing here. I ended up changing it a bunch, but this was my first attempt. It looks like a weird like chicken leg. I don't even know. <laughs> just really, really, really bad. Um, but basically my concept going into this first animation was I wanted this guy on the left to basically have the attitude of like, get alone of this guy, you know, like a, like an old guy that's like, eh, get alone of this guy. I don't know. That's the best way I can explain it. And then you have another fish that is like a newbie that's being dropped into the tank for the first time. And he's like a young fish. So we have an old fish and a young fish and he's scared to be in the tank and he just got dropped in here. So I drew his arms stretched out like that because I wanted it to look like he was like balancing, like he just landed in the water and he's like, oh my god, what's going on? Um, I did not like the shape at first. That was a weird choice shape. So I ended up making him more of a narwhal shape in a second. I changed his tail so he only had one tail. And then I made him have bubbles and then I got the idea. Ooh, I got an idea. What if he's like afraid to be in the tank because he doesn't know he's a fish? Like he doesn't know that he can breathe water, so he's holding his breath. And I don't know if that comes across in this picture, but it does later. And that's the concept. So basically we have this new fish that's like got dropped into the tank, doesn't know he's a fish and he's holding his breath. And then we've got this old slimy guy that's like, Get all of this guy. He's a moron. And that's pretty much, that's the whole concept of this. Yeah. So that was what I got in the first 15 minutes. And then, yeah, they're in the tank. I like this one, but I, there's definitely things I want to improve on that. So we're going to move on to the next 15 minutes. We're going to do another one. At first I had this next to me because I thought you were supposed to reference it, but I think actually the way Jazza did it was he like removed the piece of paper and wasn't looking at it. Let me just get that out of here. Oh, you hate to see it. We had to gut him. I'm gutted looking at it. Um, and now we're starting on it. For 15 minutes, we're gonna try to redraw what we just drew, but make it better or different or something. I don't know. So I started with this tiny narwhal dude, 
and I really was struggling with the tail. I felt like he looked like a slug for the longest time and I just didn't like it. But I wanted to make his cheeks more puffy, like he was really holding his breath and he's the bubbles coming out like he's struggling to hold his breath and he just got dropped in the tank and he, he's trying to stop himself. I don't really like those squiggles, but you know, whatever. And then we're drawing the old guy. So for this one, I drew him a little bit differently. At first I made him like confused. Um, and I wanted it to make it look like he was trying to get away from him. Like he got dropped in the tank and he's like, oh, I gotta get away from this guy. And he's confused. But then I made it him, I changed his face after to make him more angry. So right there he looks confused and then I changed it. And I thought it would be funny if that old fish was like angry just like really mad that we've got a newbie that doesn't know what's going on and he's like oh, i gotta get away from him so that was the concept for this one so now we compare it we have the old slimy guy who's like get all this guy then we got the other old guy who's like really angry and we have the narwhal that's holding his breath it's really funny because i actually love elements from both of those drawings and for the third one i decided to kind of combine them and i think i exaggerated a lot of the features especially with that old angry fish, the slimy one. I combined a lot of things from the first one and the second one for this third one, and I thought it came out better than... I think this came out the best, I think. Um, so I have this guy, I made him look a little chubby, like he's holding his breath really hard, and I, at first he looked like a slug again. It was really hard to get the shape, honestly. The shape of this guy was a struggle for me. I put little, like, movement things around his hands, like he's struggling to like balance or something, I don't know. But yeah, my little narwhal dude is the same bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, whatever, you know. He's a noob, he's a noob, he doesn't know he's a fish and he's holding his breath. And then I decided for this guy, I really liked the slimy factor from drawing number one, like I liked the drips. So I wanted to emphasize the drips and I really wanted to emphasize that this guy was an old jaded fish, you know, like he's like, doesn't really care at all. Like, picture those old dogs from movies that are just, like, sitting on a, like, front porch and they're slow moving and they just don't care. That's basically this fish. So he's taking a big gulp of water and basically, like, ugh, whatever. Or, like, who cares? Or, like, you're annoying. <laughs> to this other fish. I don't know. So he's taking a big gulp of air. It's supposed to be a contrast and then the little one is not taking any breaths of air or water and he's very slimy and I thought like the way I drew it made him look like he has like a hunchback like he's old and I was very satisfied with this one I actually had a lot of time at the end so I drew like a little bit of like sea things in a rock I don't know and these are the three so we have this guy he's get all over this guy this guy's really angry and this guy's like Ugh. and that's it I don't know which one do you guys like the best I like number three probably the best yeah. All right, so that is the end of the video. I am genuinely shocked by this one. I can't believe it. I know that this isn't a masterpiece, but it's a masterpiece right here in my heart. So we're gonna keep this one in a special place. And I also really like these fish. I think they came out super cool. And yeah, I don't know, that's the end of the video. Thank you to Ergo Josh. Thank you to Draw With Jazza for coming up with these challenges. I had a lot of fun. What am I trying to say? Okay, so here's the thing. There's no shout out at the end of this video, but there will be a shout out at the end of next week's video. I was originally planning to make this an extra video, but things came up with work and I couldn't make it work out. So I don't know, I'm really sorry guys, but next week we'll do the shout out. So yeah, let me know if you have a favorite drawing and I'll see you next week. Bye.